Tommy Gibbs, and uh, this video will show you how to use our recon tool, which is actually part of our upyourgross.com. You can use either upyourgross.com, which some of you are already using, or you could just use the recon tool, or you could use both. I think it would be smart to use both, but I'm prejudiced on that subject, no doubt. We put a lot of work and effort and energy into both of these tools to make them simple, easy to use, efficient, and to help you make more money. Certainly, they're both going to help you make more gross profit, thus the original name of upyourgross.com. Um, as you look at, uh, as you first check in and look at this, if you happen to be using Up Your Gross, you know a lot about what's going on up here, and you know it shows your averages down here, have you how you're trending on some things. Uh, that's not really the purpose of the, the um, video today. The purpose is to show you some cars. And so what I want to do is I'm going to click on this car right here that's just recently come in this dealer's inventory. This is a real inventory, but it's um, I'm just stealing the inventory and using it for bogus demos, if that kind of makes sense. When you click on this, as you may know, <coughs> excuse me, if you're using the system, that you have some choices to make down here with source, where do these vehicles come from, and uh, who appraised them, what the status of them are, and that sort of thing, and you're going to make a retail sale budget, center company vehicle, whatever. Those are some normal choices you have. But if you're not, if you're not using the up your gross part, and you just want to use a recon, to send a car into recon staging, you simply cl click there, and it goes into recon staging. Now, before I go over there, I want to remind you that you as a dealer admin, and some of your dealer admins, and if you're looking at this to possibly use, you would be a dealer admin, and you can have multiple dealer admins in the store. But by being a dealer admin, you can add different things into the system. You can have staff, staff members. Staff members tells us who appraised the car, who bought it, and you can add users. A user uh, has different categories for users, and I'll show this to you real quick. If you wanted to add a user, which you may want to do, you would select a role for the user. They would get an email so that they could set their password so they would have access to the system. You can give them all the access that, they, that you want are limited. So if you have someone that's working back in the back, it might be a service manager or service writer that you want to give access to, then you would do that. You would set their email address up here. You would then set this, the, their duties, whatever you want them to be, manage recon, manage inventory, dealer admin, and you would select the dealer. The reason it says select dealer is sometimes we have dealers with multiple stores, and they're all going to show in this view, and you may or may not want them to have access to all of them. It would be really, really wise for anybody that's utilizing this in service, uh, the service manager, service writer, maybe even a prep manager might want to have this, then to have it open on their computer all day long because they can see the activity and what's going on with cars as they're going through recon. I would certainly advise that the used car manager and or the GSM have their screen open as well so you can see the progress of your cars. But you can add, and you can also, by the way, add recon tasks, which I'll talk about in a second. But a recon task might be something that you want to add that is over and above the defaults that we have set. We have certain, certain stages of cars go through. It could be service, body shop, clean up, photo booth. We already have those in there. I'll show you that in a second. But you may want to add some like a sublet. You might want to actually track each one of your technicians so you can put their names or the technician number or whatever you might want to do. Now I just sent that car over to recon and that car is now in recon staging. Over here on the side, it shows you where all your inventory is. It shows you the total number of units we have in the system right now that have gone through recon in this little store, except it for retail. That simply means these cars have been through service, been through cleanup, and they're now on the front line. So as a car finishes and it finally goes through cleanup in a photo booth and it comes up to the used car manager, we then we then click on it and say, okay, we've accepted that car. It is now ready for retail. This dealership has one car in the body shop, and there it is. It has two cars sitting over in the cleanup, and it tells you how long they've been in there. I'll get more into that in just a second. We have one car in the photo booth, and we just sent this one car in the staging, and we have two cars that are already hanging out in service. So we can track those cars. The distance between these bubbles gives you some indication of how long it's been in these various stages. So I want to go back to the car we were talking about. This car we've actually owned for 4.16 days. It's sitting in recon staging. Think about recon staging this way. This is when you first owned it, and we sent it to recon stage, and it's just sitting out back. Nothing's happening to it. We haven't sent it in the service. We haven't done anything with the car, but it's now ready more or less to go. Maybe we're still looking for the keys. But this car has been there for three minutes because I just put it there. When you scroll over the car, it's going to tell you 
uh, who sent it there and how long it's been at that stage. At the bottom, you can see that's my email address. So it tells you who did the who did the deed, so to speak. Um, you can now, though, I want to send this car someplace else. I'm going to send it to service. Notice again, it's been here in the total dealership for 4.16 days. This is going to always tell you that. This will tell you where the car is. This over here tells you the different places a car could possibly be. Over here, we're going to move this car. It says move. So now we're going to send the car to the service department. I go down, click on service. I submit that and update it. And now that car will no longer appear here in recon staging because it's now in the service department. So I'm going to sort this with my freshest unit in service. And here it is right here, this Honda Accord EX. This is the one we're just looking at. But again, we've had it 4.16 days. It tells us right here it's now in service. We know where the car is. It tells us here additional information. How long has it actually been in service? If you click on this, you can add notes. Um, you can add a comment in here for the service department. Uh, hang on here. Hold to $800. You can put whatever comments in here, waiting on parts, whatever, whatever the situation may be, so that we all have access to it. So the used car manager can see where their cars are, the service manager, service writer, prep manager, whoever you might want to have access to. Maybe in the body shop manager, you have a big body shop, and you send a lot of stuff over there. But right now, it's sitting in service, and here's the comment right here. Hold to $800, and so I'm going to close that out. Now, when I hover over this, though, if you look down at the bottom, by just hovering over it, I can see the $800. Now, I'm going to move this car, though. I'm now going to send the car over to um, cleanup. We're going to send it to cleanup. We hit submit. And now, it's no longer going to appear in the service department because it's now sitting over here in cleanup. And here it is. Again, I'll bring it up to the top. And there, that, no, that's not it. See, where is that bad boy? Here it is right here. And so now it's sitting over in cleanup, and now it's, it's chugging along. We can see how it's moving through the system. Now, again, we, we're going to move the car, and we're going to send it into the photo booth. It's going to now leave cleanup, and it's now going to go to the photo booth, and here's the car. There it is. Uh, let's see. It's this one right here. Oh, the Civic EX. I think it's the right car. So there it is. Now we're going to move it to, we're going now, we're done with the car. It's ready to go. And we're going to send, accept the retail. So the use, it goes up to the used car manager. They look the car over and say, okay, it's good to go. And we submit it. Now it's going to end up accepted for retail. That car is now going to be in there ready to go. We can see it. And it will also show us that car in our inventory. If we went back and looked at the inventory, You'll notice that this is a car I was messing with earlier that I sent into recon. It's now green. The problem, the reason it's still showing here, it's under this action tab, is because we haven't set the source and status because I shortcutted it. But if I was to send, take take care of status, pretend it was a this was actually an auction. No, it's auction purchase. I do believe this is an auction purchase. It will come out of this category here. The buyer was Donald Duck bought this bad boy. And um, we're going to give it retail. And if you're using my system and you are believing what I preach and teach, I'm going to give that auction purchase car 45 days. So now that car is going to come out of there, and it's going to go into our regular inventory. It's actually going to be over in auction purchases. And there it is right there. There it is right there. Donald Duck bought that one. So you can see the car in different, in some different places you'll see it. <clears throat> but we now, it's now been moved in the system back to the main inventory page. We will also, in a short order, be having, you'll have a um, dashboard that's going to show you how long cars spent at each location, each of the each of the recon stages. You'll be able to tell, you know, where the where the snafu is, where things are slowing down at. We'll be able to show you the average number of days for each category and for the whole time. So it's great information. It's intuitive. It's easy to use. If you're already using a recon tool and it's costing you a decent amount of money, you may want to consider changing because this is really easy to switch to. But if you like that, I would say stick with it. But if you're not using a recon tool at all, I would urge you to give this a shot. You're, it, for a lot of you, you're already paying for the um, up your gross part. This is, doesn't cost you any extra money. It's kind of foolish not to give it a try. Even if you can't get the service department to kind of be cooperative, if nothing else, as a used car manager, you can kind of track, track what's going on by you moving the cars as it goes from one stage to another. Look, um, I'm Tommy Gibbs. I want to make sure you also understand, by the way, that uh, there's a phone app that you can get. Go to your app store, download the phone app. You'll be able to do a lot of this on the phone app. It's certainly moving the cars. That'll happen in about a week. And um, as you may also know, you can do the trade walk and you can do the setting of the cars that I was alluding to here uh, during the course of the trade walk. You really need to put that into play. If I can be of help to you, please reach out to me. My phone number is 850-251-2310. 
It's Tommy at TommyGibbsTraining.com. If you have questions, concerns, if it's something you would like to see us change or, or do different, we're happy to listen to you. We're constantly making some changes, but everything we're doing with Up Your Gross and with the Recon Tool is we're trying to make it simple, to make it easy for you to use. And if it's easy for you to use, you'll keep using it, and it's going to keep making you money. Thanks, and have a great day.